But the first Creole song would have been a ring game. Um, well, two of them are sort of playing in my mind. One is Papillon nous va l'éclo, Papillon depuis bon matin, Papillon nous pas déjeuner, Papillon nous pas boire du thé. And I remember uh, we sang that on the sea. It's a song that, um, well, we had something called a bois flow, which is a bit of wood that floats on the water. And well, you would realize then that I live. I, and up to now I live close to the sea, you know, and um, we would take that wood and swim like, like we were on a little raft and we would sing that song. And, and the words I say, papillon means butterfly, so I guess when we're doing this we look like a butterfly. And we are saying we're on the water, we haven't had lunch, uh, but we are, we are sailing and we have no food, no drink, but we're enjoying ourselves. And I think that has influenced me because um, I don't let anything bring me down, <laughs> you know. Yes, I have stuck to the patriotic type of, of song. I prefer to keep my songs non-political, non-revolutionary, more woman. In other words, um, I express the emotions of women. The last song that, that is, is becoming very popular is called Vengeance. And you can understand that sometimes, I hope, that sometimes women do feel vengeful. And I have been asked the question, why vengeance? And I answer back, why not vengeance? You know, it is uh, an emotion and you do feel angry at times and you want to strike out, even if you pray and say, oh God, hold my hand, which is what I'm doing in this song. <laughs> I had been brought up partly in Curacao, so I have some of the Dutch, some of the Papiamento influence. In fact, I was born there, so that came to my music. I was also restricted from talking Creole, so in a way I chose to sing in Creole, primarily to show that I was a big girl, big woman, and also because by that time, Creole was becoming more accepted. Dominicans realized that that was perhaps their best form of self-expression. Ah, 